Oi oi, and welcome back to Complete Arc. We're playing Arc Survival Evolved. We're on the Aberration map. So, we got some work done on the stream, guys. If you missed it, here's our progress. We've got the, this is the crafting station. We've got it going, we've got it started. It's not finished, we've still got to add loads of stuff to it, and there's loads of little bits and bobs to talk about. But you can go, you can just go watch a three hour stream VOD instead, it's fine. <laughs> but we also, got two really good spinos so one was a 135 and one was a 130 and they're both absolutely crazy colors so i'm really looking forward to actually oh we can just go ahead and breed them now can't we let's just get let's just get an egg popped while we're uh while we're catching up so i'm not too sure what we're going to be doing tonight as i'm recording this but what i think we're going to be doing is probably having a look at getting a couple more tames sorted because i want to i kind of want to get that first cave done now it's a bit of a tight cave i want to go for the one near uh near the portal what we near where we started at and uh we can't really well we, at some points we can get a spino in there but we can't really we can't really use a spino so i'm not too sure what we're going to use maybe a megalo or something so it might be time to go into blue for the first time now don't worry because we will go on a spino so we will be quite safe but we'll have to take the bulb dog so we don't get constant uh, nameless but yeah i'd like to i'd like to dip into blue just for a look tonight um if we see a megalo then absolutely fantastic if we don't then we won't cry about it we'll just get on do you know what i mean we'll just get on with it right okay well to start off then we're doing a metal run i guess there's uh not a lot else to uh say about that is there when's this egg popping right now right okay we'll just grab this egg up into mail very nice and we'll just pop this egg away quickly for now we're not going to pop it straight away we're going to pop it this episode though so hopefully it isn't just red or just yellow hopefully we've got some absolutely bizarre combination of the uh the two going on so yeah let's jump on the ravager it doesn't actually have a lot of weight does it what's the other ravager like Okay, we'll use this one. <laughs> it's fine. We'll use this one because we're we're only going down there. It's nowhere scary. We've just got to get a bit of metal and then get home. Do we actually have any metal left in here? A little tiny bit. And this is uh this is empty. Right. So there's some metal nodes around here. What we can farm up. May as well go ahead and grab them. I don't know how much we're going to be able to take on this Ravager, so it might be short-lived on the Metal Run, but I just need a little bit to get started. And that's about the gist of it, really. We'll just finish met getting this and... Does it cut it in half? Yes, it does. Let's go. Don't need stone. Guys, there's a blue Megalo, like, right here. Is that it? Was that a level 10? Oh, don't be a level 10. It's a level 10. That would have been lovely, wouldn't it? Imagine that. Megalo, like, not even really in blue, and we find a good one straight away. Oh, it won't be a lucky night tonight. There we go. Get all them forges lit. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and grab the bulb dog. And uh, where is he? There he is. Are you like okay? I'm not sure he's okay, is he? Look at that face. He's not alright, is he? Let's head out on this spino. Um, we'll take a climb and pick to get back home. Just gotta find him. I've gotta organise this base as well. Look at this, it's terrible. Also, while I'm down here, I might farm up a load of blue gems as well, because get ourselves ahead on blue gems and be able to possibly make a glider suit. Oh, here we go. 20, right. Let's see how we fear up against a 20, shall we? Nice. 
and uh, they they are quite tanky little things. So we want to fight too many of them at once. Ah, right here is a problem. I totally forgot about because we haven't really been here yet. This stuff is like the other mushrooms. We're at, uh, the mushrooms what make you go all trippy and hallucinate. These ones are a little bit different and they're a bit more dangerous. They proper suffocate you. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a few because we need the aquatic mushrooms to counteract it. So we're just going to farm up some of these before we stand on them. And then what I'll do is we'll get them on the hot bar as well and then walk over them and you can see what I'm talking about. Or not, maybe maybe they don't always do it. <laughs> I thought every single part of them did it. We're not going to be able to get too much of this because uh, cause obviously it does weigh a bit and the Spino's not really super heavy on weight but we can get some and see how we uh, see how we get on really. Right there we go. Just got to get rid of the uh, stone and things we don't need. But that was biotoxin. Where were we getting biotoxin from? That's so random. Was it from them? Was it from them mushrooms I was picking up? All right, nice. Okay, yeah, he's pretty much way down there, so that was annoying. Um, not really got much I can throw away either. It's like some meat in that, I guess. Right, let's get having a look around. We're looking for Meglos, really. Don't really want an Anki yet. We've kind of got to wait until we've got a got a crab before we get an Anki. Ninety-five, not bad. Oh, here we go. Oh, let's go. We're already going home. We've already got to go home, guys. A 140! Oh, it's beautiful! I think that like circular trap design, what I was using for the other guys, I think that's going to be alright for this as well. Um, oh, we need to make more stairs. So I've ended up using them around the base, haven't I? I feel like we've got everything we need. If we haven't, it'll be really annoying and we'll have to come all the way back. But I've got. Seven foundations is more than enough. Four of them is more than enough. Fifteen door frames, definitely more than enough. We've got an extra cryopod on us. And we've got the Ravager in our pocket. Because once we get down there, I'm going to clear out some stuff. I'm going to clear a load of junk what's around it. And then we're going to make the trap and get the Ravager out. And actually use the Ravager to, uh, to get its attention and bring it towards the trap. But first off, we just got to clear the area. Get all this junk dead. It's still over there, nice. I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff, because I really don't want anything interrupting me. Need extra foundation. Nice. Looks good to me. Right, so let's get the Spino tucked away. Get the Ravager out. And hopefully this goes nice and smooth. It could uh, it could not go that smooth, so we never know. Let's actually have a little clap and get the Bulb Dog lit up. In case Nameless decide to uh, try and ruin the day. Let's have a double check on this level. 140 will do. Mustn't let him grab me. Right, let's go. Well, they ain't that slow. Well, that just about shows you how a professional plays this game. Do you know what I mean? There's, there was there was no there was no weariness about that, was there? He just went in that trap, and then yeah. He's on a torpor run. By the looks of things, I think it was a bit early. Can we gamma down here? It's probably a bit dark for you guys, isn't it? It might not have been, but 
with a state gamut up. He's having a look. He's like, what are you doing to that? There we go. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What level are you? 15. Alright, so... See, look at that. 6.9. 6.9? It's already got like twice as much health as my Spino. It's crazy. Let's see how this turns out. These are our tanks. These are pretty much the tanks of the season, I think. Let's get him on the track in so we can just keep an eye on that torpor drop. I think it drops... It drops relatively slow, so we should be good. Just have to keep having a look as we're uh, going about looking for the sheep. Sheep acquired. Very nice. There's another Megalo there. And a 160 Rock Drake. Uh, no thanks. Oh, I thought these Ravagers were going for Tame then. They went for a little goat lad. I feel sorry for the little goat lad, but as long as I ain't touching my Tame, I don't really care. He is chomping this down. He is not tamed. Oh yeah, the Nameless. Didn't have the bulb dog on, did we? First nameless kill, let's go. God, they take some, don't they? Right, he's dead. We've got a little Healy plant up here to have a look at. We can have a little spyglass over the river while we're getting healed. Not too bad. Oh, frogs! I totally forgot there was frogs on this map. Oh yeah, anglerfish as well, look. A 145. I'm not taming that. Not today. <laughs> well, I'm not getting an anglerfish. It'd be so much hassle. There he is. Oh, look at it. Whoa, I nearly fell off. Oh no, I misclicked. <laughs> oh no. I'm misclicking W and shift as well. Oh no, I killed it. Never mind. Maybe next time. <laughs> He's about to finish taming. Just gonna slip that onto there. He's just got one more bite to eat, I think. Yeah. Any second now. Was it any second now? Yeah, there you go. Nice. 8k health. It might not be the best, but 319 melee. Something we're taking home today. Yes, thank you, and please. Let's throw it out and uh, see about getting a saddle for it. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad. 8k health. So much more than the Spino. It's unreal. I've got an idea. <clears throat> Now this is either going to be really stupid or really clever. I'm going to attempt to pick up the low level one and chew it. And then pick up the good level one and knock it out while it's in its mouth. <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Am I just going to lose this Megalosaur like straight away? I don't even know if they'll aggro me. I don't think they will. Oh, he, he, he did aggro me. So th th there is that. Oh, this is alright. Like, behind this rock. Right, okay, yeah, this works. This is doable. Right, let me grab this one. Wait a minute. Let me just put him on passive, in <laughs> just in case. Just in case I'll get off and he starts just munching it like a lunatic. Oh, this is a... Uh, I don't think this is ideal, is it? I hit it. I think he's chewing it. Yeah, he was chewing it. Like, you got to get through 8k on that Megalo, mate. It's not happening. 
Like, I, d I don't, I don't think you're going to be killing that Megalo anytime soon. Right. Well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> Is it not ridiculous that I can pick a Parasaur up? And how come he's not biting the Parasaur? What? Why is he desperate to like munch it? We'll get this all set up, we'll throw the egg down and pro Was that the Megalo making noises? They are noisy, aren't they? We probably won't even need to actually use any of these torches, or we'll need like 30 torches. Like, I think before we go for a rock drake egg, we should definitely be uh, actually making some some real hatchery business. Because without the AC units, I think it's going to be an absolute joke <laughs> trying to hatch a rock drake egg. Because they do need a lot. They need a lot of a lot. Oh yeah, it's too cold, I'm glad. I'm glad it's too cold. Try it with five. It's too hot. There we go. Two. Two was all I'd need. <laughs> I have to admit, I didn't think Spinos would be the first thing we'd be breeding on this map. I honestly thought it'd probably be Ravages. But uh, yeah, this is pretty cool. I haven't bred Spinos for a very, very, very long time. Before they even looked like they do now. So this is a... Uh... Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's hope we get good. Okay, it's just uh, just yellow, isn't it? We wanted like a crazy mix. It went on the roof. What a lunatic. Operation hadn't been too good yet. I mean, we, we we was pretty lucky with these. And on that same on that same night, I did kill. I did accidentally kill a 150 crab. But we haven't seen any 150 Ravagers, what we would obviously like. And we haven't seen any 150 Spinos, which we would like. So, cooked prime meat. Yeah, I could, I could possibly sort that out for him. It wasn't lame. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I like to do imprinting. <laughs> Like, if you're new to this series and that's the first time you've seen uh, my breathing settings, like, you're gonna have to go back and watch some. We've spoke about this a lot, and I'll have my views on breathing in this game, and they're, none of them are good views, so, yeah. <laughs> and with all that done and said, I would say it's been a pretty successful night on here. We got, we got a new tame, and it was a good level. We got the Spinos bred. And uh, yeah, all in all, pretty happy with it. Like, we'll probably we'll probably just take this guy straight out to the uh, to the cave. We'll see if we can get him in the cave and go caving with him. It will definitely be uh, it'll definitely be he'll do all right. Do you know what I mean? I think he'll do all right. But until then, we'll see you later. Take it easy.